Hi guys and welcome to my review of Haiku chapter 267, Trap. Um, I get another enjoyable chapter focusing on Nakuma. Um, and I think this will be the second to last. I believe that the little footnote in the end uh, kind of signified that the next chapter will be the last that will focus on Nekoma, um, for now at the very least. Um, but it was enjoyable. It was thoroughly enjoyable. Um, but it always is. I've, I've said this before. Haikyuu is always enjoyable. You never have a bad chapter of Haikyuu. Um, but yeah, uh, some highlights. Um, we move into the second set and more or less, as their opponents said or whatever predicted, um, they don't have as much of an advantage as they had in the first set because obviously Kenma is tired um, and we even have Kenma like tripping over his feet and just being thoroughly exhausted um, and it even seems like he'll be um, taking out of the match, like they, they have their backup setter ready um, if it's needed, um, although I don't think it'll happen. Uh, but we have like the um, thing we talked about the last few times about uh, Nekoma being able to adapt to any plan that the opponents throw at them. So like their Nekoma will just adapt to your plan. So even if you try to do this, we'll just do our thing. Um, so that's really great to see them just sticking with who they are. Um, and I like how Kenma is very um, determined because uh, he doesn't give up when it's matched because he's very... Um, even though he's like not lazy, but still like he's not he's not the guy to make an effort He's very competitive. So when it comes to a match He really likes to give it his all so you see the determination in his face a lot of times in this chapter um, I really really like that um, and they do uh, Catch up by the end I believe um, at some point it's like 23 23. I forgot what, what the last score was um, but it's uh, yeah 24 24 um, so yeah, it, it, it seems like Nakama will definitely win this set with pure determination, basically. Um, but it's, I, I do enjoy it, because Nakama seems to obviously be the superior team here, uh, even if their opponents have like a really nasty plan or strategy plan for them. Like, it's not uh, as bad as the happy team they faced um, in the preliminaries, um, but it's definitely the, let's just tie our Kama. Um, but yeah, it was really great. Um, I don't have much to say actually. I really liked uh, by the end of the chapter the, the again Saru whatever team. <laughs> um, let's just call them Saru. Um, they have that little comment about Kenma like something changed. Suddenly he just like he kind of like took control of the game. What was the exact thing uh, they said? Um, da -da 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 -da, let me just find it quickly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, so uh, just now they may have been sh uh, deliberately shifting the tra trajectory of the b return ball uh, in an attempt to lure blockers. Uh, like, Kenma just took complete control over this game. And I really like the commentators as well. They talked about how he was like uh, one of the biggest diamonds in the roughs uh, in this tournament because. Kenma is like Nekma as a team is like a t they're a unit. They're not they're not like Karasuna who have like Kakiyama, Asahi, Nishinoya, Tsugishima. Like they don't have that. Uh, they're just Nekma, a good team. Um, but suddenly you have like when Kenma when there's the pressure in Kenma, you suddenly have him standing out because he handles that pressure really well despite everyone being able to see how freaking tired he is. Um, and that's that's just great. I love seeing that from Kenma because it's it's not uncharacteristically uncharacteristic of him to be that determined, but it's just really nice to see that side of him because we know it's there. We know that we've seen his competitive side uh, a lot, a lot, but we haven't seen it that much in competition um, because, as we've talked about before, um, Nekoma is very good at supporting Kenma despite his low stamina. So we don't really get to see him like push through that threshold of oh my god i can't really move anymore but i'm just gonna keep going this is the first time we've seen him hit that so it's really nice um and it's really nice to see him thinking so much because kemma is a smart dude he is super smart and he sees things like a video game and he's like we're gonna do this and this and that so yeah i thought that was really nice also seeing him them doing that one play to the far right or whatever it was that was great as well um so yeah i'm expecting for uh, Nekoma to have a really nice victory next time. Um, but I think that's mostly what I'm gonna talk about here. I don't think anything else like uh, that we haven't talked about happened because it was mostly just um, 
you know, again, Kenma, character realization, character art, character development, I don't know what to put that in, um, and just the things we've talked about before, uh, with Nakama being a great team, um, so yeah, it was, it was really nice to see this chapter, just with Kenma and everything, but I think I'm not gonna talk more about it, just cause, um, again, that match really happened, it was mostly just the play, that's what happened in sports sometimes, but it was still really nice. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to Nekma's sweet, sweet victory next time. Um, would be really surprised if that didn't happen, like, what the heck. Um, but yeah, this just shows that you shouldn't look down Nekma, because they were expecting to play three full sets, and I don't think that's gonna happen, so yeah. Um, that's just super great, so we're gonna stop talking here. Uh, very short, but there's no point in dragging it for out further, so yeah. Uh, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, and you can subscribe, and until next time, bye!